Our Gulf Coast MakerCon 2015 coverage is proudly powered by the Microsoft Store. Go ahead and imagine presenting the thinnest and lightest Surface ever, the Surface 3. The perfect balance of performance and value for students, families, and more. Pre-order yours today or check out all the other latest gadgets at f5live.tv slash Microsoft. Getting back down to business, we have got somebody new at the booth. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, um, I'm Freddie Beck. I'm with the Electrathon of Tampa Bay Racing Group that's right outside the doors here. <laughs> Which explains why you sat down and went... <laughs> <laughs> the air conditioning feels wonderful in here. <laughs> As you've been outside all day in Florida the weather. of April in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the love bugs are here too, so they're sticking oh. in the sweat. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> so tell us about your group. <laughs> Our group, the Electrothon of Tampa Bay, is a nonprofit group that was put together about seven years ago by several people from the Hillsborough County Public School District okay. as volunteers to um, create a place for our high school students to design build and drive electric cars. So they're go-kart sized cars um, that they design themselves and then they're out there racing. Wow, that's <laughs> really cool. So how many how many people participate in this? We have, wh what's really exciting is that um, along with our high school teams, we've got five high school, local high schools. Um, we wow. have one, a private school from Brandon. We have a school from um, Riverview High School, but not ours in Hillsborough County, but Riverview from Sarasota. Okay. Um, and then we have USF and we have HCC okay. as well. And then we have open class guys. These are grown up men who do this for the fun of it. So they, they build their cars and they drive and they come from all over the state. So normally we'll have between 11 and 15 cars racing in our race at, at any given time. Okay, between <laughs> 11 and 15 cars in the mm -hmm. race, they are all... Battery powered. And built. And they're bi not purchased, they're built, uh, uh, No, somewhere uh, in the middle? Our high school and, and um, college cars are built. They're designed and built. Um, they may purchase a frame sure. pre-made, but then they'll do all of the other part of that, the electrical part, the um, the part with the brakes and, and, and the engine and everything. Um, now, our open class guys, they can build, they use kit cars sometimes. The ones we have here today are driving ones they've, they've built themselves. Oh, okay. And they're more... Um, experimental because they have a little discretionary dough that they sure. can spend on there. So, like our open class guys today are are using um, uh, advanced batteries. They're they're uh, lithium batteries as opposed right. to yellow top batteries. Okay. Today. So, um, which high schools do you work with? Well, right now uh, we've got Tampa Bay Tech. We have Middleton High School. Um, Brandon and Strawberry Crest are both. Uh, Participants, they're not here today. A bunch of their students were taking their AP testing today. So, <laughs> yeah, um, academics come comes first. <laughs> um, and um, Foundation Christian Academy has joined us. They're they're uh, south of Brandon, and um, Wharton High School. Their right. um, physics and chemistry and calculus students are our our team from Wharton High School. So those are the five. And. Do you work with them through like their own club through the school yeah. or do, that's a really like, after school? Good question. Very good question. Wow. Yeah, you got <laughs> it. Um, some of the programs at Tampa Bay Tech, it, it's run as a club um, through Skills USA, which is one of our career and technical student organizations like FBLA and FFA. Sure. Um, Skills USA, and, and it's run through their computer technology class. Okay. Um, the programs at Wharton and Strawberry Crest are run through their AP Science classes. <laughs> The program at Brandon is run through their auto tech program, done as a club. Fair enough. And, um, and, and then the, the private schools, um, like Foundation, it's just whoever was interested. Okay. Um, now, USF and HCC, both of their teams are engineering societies. You know, whether it's ASME or uh, the electrical engineers, they, the, the students that are members field the team. Okay. And, and how often do they meet? We have a schedule that averages about once a month, not during the hot months normally. <laughs> um, this is our next to the last race. Next, okay. uh, in two weeks, we're going to be in Cocoa Beach at the Florida Solar Center Energy Whiz Olympics. Okay. Um, we're we're the, the, uh, the, I guess, the outside preview race. Um, we'll be racing right adjacent to their parking. They've got people coming from all over the state for their solar energy uh, Olympics. Wow. <laughs> Do you know 
What is that? Yeah. <laughs> that what? sounds fascinating. The Energy Whiz Olympics? Yeah. Well, it's, um, and I'll tell you, you could go to the Florida Solar Center um, website, FSEC, and you will see it's it's everything you can imagine. We have a group called Junior Solar Sprint that, that works with our Electrothon Racing. Okay. It's our, our grooming group. It's for sure. elementary and middle school. Yeah. They build little bitty solar cars, and we normally host their races in between our two races. Um, so that's part of what the Solar Center will be hosting. But everything else that's solar that anybody's doing in schools anywhere in Florida will be down at that at that particular event. And it's it's a big deal. It's it's huge. It's through um, the Uni- uh, University of Central Florida, UCF, sponsors that. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds like a fascinating <laughs> event that it is too bad that we are going to be <laughs> Somewhere in transit else, huh? for a, an event in Las Vegas. Otherwise... Be- I, we might have gone to cover that. Well, that. That sounds fascinating. Uh, and you know what? I need to. I'll, I'll send you the contact information for their organizers so you can get on their list, and then awesome. you'll know for next year. Can I? Can I just want to say one more thing about our uh, electrothon of yeah, Bay dot org is our website as sure. well as our name. And um, we, you know, we run on on donations only. But we also, you know, we we need. Um, we want more students to be interested in this. We want more adult volunteers. We have to use people as flagmen when we do the races and um, people come out. We have a new scoring system that is all um, using telemetry so that um, the cars have little transponders on them as they go under the, um, the bridge. It counts their laps. We used to have to do it by hand. Everybody okay. got one car, and you watched them for an hour. Uh-huh. Ooh, and wow. The goal of the race is not speed. It's how many laps you can do in one hour on one charge of your batteries. You can go into the pits and change a wheel, tighten a chain, but you cannot put a new set of batteries on. So we do two races in a day. Then we average all of their laps, and we have awards at the end always for all three classes. Okay, so the commonality across the vehicles is the battery? Yes, Okay, so yes. they use they use the same battery array. Except for the advanced class. Remember, they're using the lithium. They're doing a special We thing. can use yellow top or red top, our, our, the regular class. And so no matter who you are, if you're in those. Um, what although, does that work out to? Uh, lead and nickel batteries? Yes. Yeah, very good. Hmm. And it's a good <laughs> thing. I'm surprised I knew that. Um, that's why I want to send them to the website because <laughs> we, we have everything on there you need, including um, a shopping list if you want to build your own car. Because we do have parents of former students who liked it so much, they built their own cars and they race with us as well. Awesome. Because it's And it's very cost um, uh, not prohibitive. It's very inexpensive compared to like, you know, Vex Robotics and, and those things really get costly. This is, and this is, this is teaching students to apply their knowledge that they've learned in physics, that sure. they've learned in, in AutoCAD, um, their math, their science, their auto tech, all those things apply and, and they get a chance to work on the things as a team, which is really important. Do you guys have an alumni association for people who have graduated <laughs> out can keep involved in the L- organization? Let me tell you, the, the USF and the HCC teams are there because they were in our high schools, they graduated and they started their own teams at their colleges. I had a so feeling. So definitely. And, and <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar with um, every year USF has the Engineering Expo in yes. February. That has always, on Saturday of that expo, they host a huge electrothon race that brings okay. people in from all over the country, not just here but from California and Arkansas and, and Georgia and Alabama are growing exponentially with their electrothons as well. Ex- they're actually bypassing us. They're just zooming, adding more and more cars and more and more high schools, and they're doing it through their curriculum, which is a great catch because they can teach it while they're doing it. We have to do ours as clubs, so you can't do it in the classroom. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it's, um, we do a lot of work with First. She's been on a team yeah, for the last two yeah. years, and I was on a team in the 90s. And... We've been working to try and get the school system to recognize mm-hmm. science and technology things as sports. Right. So that oh, so that it's take so that it that way. Yeah, yeah. It's considered for you know absences are mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. acceptable yes. and things like that. Like football so that, so and that it's, yeah. So that yeah. it's an acceptable part of the school. Mm-hmm. And as soon as the state recognizes it, you'll be okay. Things could explode. Absolutely. Then. In Absolutely. A good way. I never thought about that, but that's good. We <laughs> were just talking about getting our calendar because we race for eight months and then we don't okay. race you know, the other yep, four. Sure. Um, we're going to get our calendar approved ahead of the school year so that the, the sponsors at the schools can get the calendar approved, not one trip at a time and field trip permission slips, but everything at once. And then they don't have to worry about that. that they're such sticklers and we want to make sure we're doing the right thing. Always for the students. That's all this is about. Absolutely. That's 
That's really cool. And you said if people wanted to find out more about the organization? They would go to www.electrathonoftampabay.org. All one word. And um, there's there's a photo album of past races. Awesome. There's a really great video that, that we created the first year that actually explains what electrothoning is all about. Because cool. you, you need to understand that before you see, you know, what, what they're doing. Sure. And, uh, and we race today at 2 o'clock. So that's our first race, second race at 4 o'clock. Two o'clock, okay. huh? That yep. works out well because that's when our broadcast comes down. All we right. will be out there You'll watching. Be out there. Good. <laughs> we'll even put you under our shaded canopy because you Ooh, need it out there. There we go. <laughs> Special well, treatment. <laughs> we appreciate you coming by and talking to us. Thank you so much. You have great questions. <laughs> appreciate it. Have a good rest of the show. You too. Thanks. So that is a great alteration of our, um, of our con. You know, the the first concept, right? It's it's the same general idea but applied in a totally different way yeah definitely like you learn a lot of mechanics and all that goes into it it's and i i love that that the challenge is basically about um if electronic efficiency yeah which is something that somehow is missed today because um you know avram pilch from laptop magazine uh, when they do phone reviews, the first thing they review is the battery life. They do it on phones, tablets, laptops. The first thing they do is test the battery, and the efficiency is often garbage. Yes. I mean, you know, um, the the Galaxy S six and six Edge are at right like right at industry average, <laughs> but they're a huge company who should be better than, and they're not. So. Having an organization like this teaching uh, electrical efficiency is awesome.